do not panic the Christmas shirt. I'm recording this on Boxing Day, okay? Can you forgive me? Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2019, I'm Joe if you're new around here and welcome to part 10 of season 7 of The Journeyman with Sheffield Wednesday and in today's episode we take on Millwall in the FA Cup 5th round before taking on Hull City in the Championship. Since you were last with us, things have went fairly well, it has to be said, we beat uh, Middlesbrough 3-2 away from home. Um, I think that might have been in the last episode. Uh, we beat Huddersfield 2-1 at home. Angel Gomez and Wilson with the goals. And then we beat Birmingham 3-0 with uh, Curtis Jones and Sean Maguire on the score sheet. And that all means this for the championship table. We're 10 points ahead of Leeds United in third place. That is brilliant. However, we are 10 points behind Brighton. Uh, in the, 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 the race for the title. You know, we're, we're pretty much guaranteed to be promoted at this point with 12 games to go unless something goes drastically wrong with our form from now to the end of the season. Um, but we're, we're, we're almost guaranteed not to win the title too. But there's some important games coming up. One of them's today against Hull City. If we can beat them, it's another three points on the, on the scorecard. Uh, if you like Brighton uh, away to Portsmouth, you know, it's a tricky game away from home, so perhaps we can make up some ground yet. Let's have a little look at squad performances. Top goal scorer is uh, Sean Maguire with 23 from 33, 14 for Angel Gomez, and 10 for Callum Wilson. Top assists is 10 for Angel Gomez, 8 for Massimo Bruno, and 6 for Joe Willock. Top average rating is a 7.39. For Curtis Jones, 7.31 for Joe Willock and a 7.22 for Sean Maguire. So, let's have a little look at the team for today. I'm feeling a little bit out of breath. All these Christmas festivities are, are getting to us and I'm not even fit enough to do a, a YouTube video anymore. Uh, Nick Pope will start and go with Ralston, Chicherez, uh, Fizza and uh, Dummett in defence. We then have uh, Brown and Willock in the midfield with Bruno Jones and Gomez starting behind Sean Maguire up top. So let's get into it. Um, yeah, it will be another sixth round of the FA Cup if we can get through this. I think we're a lot more prepared than last year um, for anyone we do face in, in a potential sixth round. I think this is going to be a tough match though, away from home. Uh, to Millwall is not going to be easy, um, so yeah, but hopefully we can get through it, hopefully we can get our um, ourselves into the 6th round, the FA Cup, which would be absolutely brilliant, and uh, start pushing on again uh, in the season, you know, we've won 5 in a row in all competitions since the, uh, the odd defeat to uh, Norwich, um, and we're, we're going from strength to strength, you know, we're, we're able to rotate the side, we have some great depth at the club, and yeah, we're, just things are, are g generally going very, very well for us at the moment, Burnley are 1-0 up at Manchester United as well, that would definitely help our cause of getting through the sixth round if uh, there's no big teams there, uh, the, the semi-final I should say, here's Maguire, Maguire now to Curtis Jones on the ball. He threads it through to Bruno. It's off the post. Oh, it's away by Mendy. That was close. Mm. A little bit annoying how that, that didn't quite go our way there. It looks like Brighton are, uh, are losing to Crystal Palace. Watford are losing as well to Bournemouth. Uh, Arsenal are nils each with West Bromwich Albion. And we're obviously... 0-0 nil -nil with um, with Millwall. Crystal Palace are absolutely thumping at Brighton at the moment, which could also work out quite nicely for us if um, if they end up being thrashed and losing a bit of confidence. You know that that's got to be good for us. Half time and it is nil-nil. We haven't 
really turned up yet today, but um, you know I'm confident that we can come back in the second half. We did have the big chance uh, earlier on. They haven't really had a big chance yet, so you know I'm I'm quite confident that we can pull something off here. Here's Willock. Now to Alan Brown. Alan Brown with the shot. What a goal that is. I mean, I can't even get excited about that because that is just sensational from Alan Brown. You know when he's on that edge of the area, he's going to shoot. And eight times out of ten, he is going to score. That was absolutely fabulous from Alan Brown into the top right corner. Brilliant finish. And it is now 1-0 away from home to uh, Millwall who were a Premier League club a couple of years ago uh, if you remember correctly uh, oh that's a that was a risky clearance from Pope but we got away with it here's Willock if we can make it 2-0 uh, very soon after making it 1-0 that very much helps our cause here's Willock Willock now oh that's not good that is not good here's Greenwood now with the chance and great save from Pope Wow, what a save that was. Here comes uh, Eliasson into the middle. It's a header away. And now here's Antonio. Gets it wide to uh, Eliasson. Into the middle. Pfizer gets it away. And that is end of highlight. But here comes another one straight after it. This is end-to-end -end stuff. Here's Antonio into the middle. Ralston gets it away. Now Jones. We're on the counter-attack now. Curtis Jones pushing forward. Gets the ball forward. And Sean Maguire, that is a heavy touch. Very unlike him. But, um, you know, we'll forgive him if we don't concede here. Redmond gets it forward. And we do concede. Ah, that is annoying. That is very, very annoying. That was caused by a, a just a heavy touch from Sean Maguire. Such a shame that that has, has, has happened. Uh, Man United still behind uh, against Burnley. Arsenal 1-0 up against West Bromwich Albion. He has uh, Eliasson into the middle. Header down. Oh, oh I thought that was going to be 2-1. Right. We need to start making some changes. Uh, Bruno's not playing well. We're going to put Gomez on the right-hand side. We'll put Robbie Brady on. I haven't really given him a chance to show what he's made of yet, so let's give him that chance today. Um, oh, Ralston's not having a good game. A lot of people aren't having a good game, but I think we need to, to hold off on making the third substitution just yet. But Millwall have, have been the better team today. It's as simple as that. And Crystal Palace absolutely thumping uh, Brighton. Dumb it into the middle. It's away. Now Greenwood. Oh, Greenwood's going to chase and he's going to get. Greenwood pushing forward now. Can we get the tackle in? Come on, boys. No. Oh, no. We're going to be out of the FA Cup. And that is incredibly sad. Um... Right, we'll bring Danny Welbeck on for Angel Gomez. Oh, what a shame this would be if we went out. This is a great opportunity to progress in the competition. And we just haven't. He has done it. Now Jones. Still have 20 minutes left, though. Dumb it, but we haven't really been at the races. Brown gets it forward. Callum Wilson with a chance. It's in. Oh, it's a free kick. He was offside. Oh... What a shame that is. Good ball forward. Now he's Pfizer. Back to Pope. Oh my god. Oh, what a way to bring up your hat trick. And what a way to know that it's not your day. I don't even want to watch that again. Man United have equalised as well. It's a very sad day. A very sad day indeed. Here's Pope. Now to Alan Brown. Back to Pope. Clears it. Here's Dummett. Come on. Dummett. Now to Brady. Robbie Brady on the ball. Show us what you're made of. Dummett. Now Brown. Back to Dummett. Oh, that's a good ball forward. Brady. Now Wilson. Wilson to Dummett. Are we going to actually wake up in this match? 
it doesn't look like it. Eliasson gets a clear, and now they're going to look to make it 4-1, and they do. Ouch. This is a bit of a, a sore one to take, to be honest with you. And so a lot worse than the Brighton one. Brighton aren't expected to win against Crystal Palace. We're probably expected to beat Wirt Millwall. Um, yes. A very disappointing display from us. And, and we, we limp out of the FA Cup, which is, is such a shame. You know, I think we genuinely had a chance of progressing, uh, maybe getting to a cup final or something like that. But that's the way it goes. We're out of it, and uh, I, I guess the the important thing now is to, to react against Hull City. Just a couple of changes for this match then. Kane Wilson comes in at right back. Odom Wani comes in at left back as well. Other than that, it's as you were for the, the Millwall game. And just hoping that we actually turn up today, because we didn't in the last match and, and it was incredibly sad to see uh, by the way Man United won in extra time against Burnley so yeah maybe maybe there wasn't such a chance of progression but uh, who knows I'm not even going to look at the draw for the 6th round we're just going to move on we've now got 12 games to go this season including this one absolutely massive games if we can win all 12 we might win the title um, you know if we can win seven of them I would say were promoted so let's get the first of seven today let's get into the Premier League jobs are good and we can forget about that FA Cup performance because we'll be playing away to Old Trafford in the league next season never mind in the cup so let's let's go and do it come on boys <clears throat> that's my team talk today um and hopefully we can do something good. Here's Angel Gomez now to Jones. Curtis Jones boots it forward. Autumn Wanyi in at the middle. It's away now. Here's Angel Gomez. It's in. It's in. 15th goal of the season for Angel Gomez. And it's 1-0. I think it took a wicked deflection off one of their defenders. But I really don't care, to be honest with you. Autumn Wanyi, good, dangerous cross. And... Uh, Actually, it might have just went through the gap. What a goal that is from Angel Gomez. It's 1-0, and we can be really happy with that. Alan Brown might be sent off, though. Yep. Yeah. Oh, dear. Deary, dearie. Right. We're going to bring uh, Curtis Jones off. I think we might move these back as well. Um, and just sort of... Accept it. We'll bring uh, Marco Van Ginkel on as well. We'll go balanced and uh, we'll play the match. Here we go. Very disappointing. That sort of challenge. Um, well, hopefully we'll be all right. Hopefully we'll be okay. We've we've changed the tactic a bit. We're we're sitting a bit further back. And uh, and they're they're not exactly attacking, are they? So we we might be okay in this match. Um, we'll just have to see. Half time one nil, and uh, we'll tell them not to get complacent. Keep your performance levels up. <coughs> is the message we want to give. We can still win this match with ten men. You know, just because we're down to ten men doesn't mean we're guaranteed to lose. You know, our 10 men are probably better than their 11 men. And, you know, but they're going to have to use their extra manpower to, to try and force us into a corner. Uh, it looks like Brighton are winning their match as well. Uh, away, oh, 3-0 Portsmouth. So much for a tricky away game. Set piece, that would have been annoying. You know, the, the place where we can be organised, where we can pretty much nullify our man disadvantage you know it would have been annoying to concede from a set piece but uh, here's Van Ginkel now to Pfizer on the ball gets it all the way back to Nick Pope now Nick Pope pushing forward here's Pfizer goes all the way back to Nick Pope 
Don't lose it. Chicherez. Now to Wilson. Wilson Van Ginkel gets it forward. Here's Sean Maguire with a chance now. And that is incredibly um, good defending from Mergy there to get the get the block in. Now here comes Bruno into the middle. It's away once again. Oh, the, I thought that might have been a penalty. Bruno. Kierkez. Hmm. Got about five minutes to hold on here. Come on, boys. Let's do this. I'm too scared to make another substitution. I think we... Oh, my goodness me. What is Pope doing? <laughs> Letting the, the, the striker get that close to him. But what a tackle from Sean Maguire. That is how you tackle Alan Brown in full time. And a very important three points on the board there. Got to be happy with that. You know, we were a man down. And we managed to get through it. And, and win ugly. And, and that is a sign of a true, true champion. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content, but not for not much longer. If you've watched my video recently. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.